Meanwhile, Hong Kong's activist leader Nathan Law, who is now based in the United Kingdom, has condemned the closure of the pro-democracy newspaper, The Apple Daily. The 26-year-old student leader activist rose to prominence in Hong Kong as one of the foremost leaders of the pro-democracy umbrella revolution in 2014. He went on to become the youngest lawmaker elected to the city's legislature in 2016. Speaking to a British broadcaster, Nathan Law said that he was saddened and disheartened by the news calling the crackdown a violation of Hong Kong's system. Listen in. The Chinese government is transplanting the Chinese way of um, governance in Hong Kong, which they, despite uh, and ideas of a uh, division of power and centralized all power, and that's why they are doing something like that to Apple Daily, because they don't want any newspaper to be holding them accountable. Chinese government is creating legal weapons to silence the whole city, even though they have their uh, uh, ability and authority of doing so. But for us, it is definitely an annihilation of our system, and we just have to raise our uh, dissident voice uh, in regards to this intrusion. The government could use the name of national security to prosecute them under the national security law to basically achieve anything. And I think that that makes Hong Kong into such a strange place and just an ordinary city that many of Hong Kong people do not recognize. I, I think that point in particular is, is what makes us so saddened and disheartened. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.